It is important to us here at WJZ that we connect with your community and that we highlight everyday heroes who are doing the work to make our city a better place. So we've asked you to share your community MVPs with us. That's right. This week, Tori Smith in Curtis Bay. He has a story of how the Filbert Street Garden and Charles D. Barber are getting healthy foods into food deserts. Hey, buddies. Come here. Come here, Ed. How you doing? Okay, we can share a little bit. So tell me about Filbert Street Garden and how we got here. <laughs> it started out as a place to tackle food deserts where our closest grocery store is about a 45 minute walk that way. We have folks that just have no access to groceries. We started with just 30 plots and after 10 years we have close to 60 of them and we have residents growing some of their own food. We give them some seeds, teach them a little bit about gardening. We're helping them not just get food but get healthy food. In addition to that, we have our bee yard where we produce about 100 gallons of honey. We look at our space here as one that exists to tackle the food desert, one for recreation, education. We produce about 3,800 eggs a year that go out to the community from our animals, which two-thirds of them are rescued. We have geese here, ducks, goats. I mean, there's all kinds of, a turkey. <laughs> There's so many different creatures that you wouldn't typically see in a city, only in the country life. How has the response been from the community knowing that it's right here in their backyard? Culture shock. Culture shock was definitely the response. We started off with my bees, and then we had chickens and ducks. And once we added the goats, which I can already hear people are playing with them up front right now, they kind of just become the community's pets. You could have gone anywhere in Baltimore. There are plenty of spaces where you can potentially create a green space. Why did you choose this neighborhood specifically? Our founder, Jason Reed, he was a teacher right across the street and he wanted a nice green space for his students. The other part of why here, because the community needs it. And you'll find that we're trying to accommodate so many other needs with the fact that we don't have a library in Curtis Bay. So we provide free internet right here at the garden. We're trying to tackle a need for recreation, a need for education. It all ties together, and I think the answer is because there's just a need for it. That's why we're here. What's one way someone can support this farm, and how can they learn more about it? Well, you can learn more about it on our social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and you can find us at filbertstreetgarden.net. We always need volunteers that want to rake out the goat pen and get some of the excess straw out there and just kind of lend a hand and help out and become part of our little community here. The more people that come along, the more we can meet that excessive demand from the community, the more people we can help. Yeah, they're doing great work. And Tori's an outdoorsman, so he loves it, for sure. <laughs> and we know there's more community MVPs out there. We want you to let us know who they are. This way we can highlight all of the great work they're doing to make Baltimore City a better place. So head over to WJZ.com slash MVP and submit your nomination. And there's a good sh example right there. Somebody doing incredible work that I've never heard of. Yeah, this is the whole wonderful. point of this segment. All those animals in the middle of Curtis Bay, it's wonderful. More ahead on